These are an inexpensive throwing knife from a company called Perfect Point. These are only about just over six inches long. So they're a little light. It means you got to be pretty close. So for half spin, I'm only going to be less than eight feet away. And you can either throw them flat like this, or since it's a single edge blade, hold it on the side and throw it like that. So we'll do some half spins from about eight feet. One of the disadvantages of smaller, lighter knives is that there just isn't a lot of mass, so sometimes they don't want to stick, especially if you have a hard target like this. Okay, that was half spin. I was throwing them vertically. I'll do another half spin throwing them horizontally. If you throw a bunch of knives, you're gonna you're gonna bang them together, and that's one of the advantages and disadvantages of stainless steel knives is that they can chip. If you look closely at these two, you can see a little different profile. This one, I actually broke the tip off. So I reground it, tapered it, put a little bit of a point on this side, and just a slight edge. So they do, stainless steel knives do break. And if you throw them together, you'll nick up the handles too. So be careful that you grind off those little burrs that are on the side there. I think I'll just throw four at a time. They were, these were thrown this way, and they made one half circle and a half spin. And they're sticking in just fine. If you're throwing at short distances, it's a good idea to maybe throw at targets around the circle. Now if you're not getting sticks, the blade's getting flat or this way that tells you which way you need to move. If it's hitting like this you're way too far away. You need to move up closer. If it's hitting just slightly angled maybe about six inches. Flat like that you're probably at least a foot too far back.
tell you, the first couple I threw, and they were hitting real flat. This was a full spin. I was throwing it like this. They were hitting real flat, so I kept moving back. Move back, still a little bit too far, or too close. Move back a little bit farther. Now you're getting a straight on hit. So these knives are hitting full spin at about 10 feet. Okay, a couple more adjustments. Had a couple that didn't stick. A little bit down, move back just a couple inches, getting a straight stick. Okay, now we found our distance. Let's see if we can throw some for accuracy and intentionally throw them around the center. Had one that didn't stick, several that were hitting short. So I moved back just a couple of inches. And with these lighter knives, it's amazing that three, four inches makes a difference.
Now you can see one of the disadvantages of a light knife is that it really shows up any inconsistencies that you have in your technique. Um, the little bit of weight difference between having a spear point edge or a regular knife edge isn't, isn't the difference. It's my, my throwing. The knives are light enough so that from half spin distance there's not a lot of mass to get them to stick, but from 10-11 uh, feet when you can throw them full spin, they do have quite a good velocity and they're sticking pretty good. So I'm going to try one more and see if we can do it the same way for each throw. Alright, well that gives you a good idea. I'm trying to trying to throw them around the first knife so I don't clang them together and do any chips. But this is actually because of the disadvantages of light knives, this is actually a good set for a beginner. It's cheap. The worst that can happen is you break a tip and you can regrind it and and reshape, reprofile the tip. But this set actually includes 12 knives, six black, six silver. So you have plenty of knives. I have thrown these no spin, but for the same reason, um, being short and light, they're pretty frustrating. You gotta be pretty close. You're throwing it Try and get the stick with one, with without technically without a spin, but you're stroking this back, and uh, you can get them to stick some of the time. But usually they're getting light enough that they're that they're just falling out. But that doesn't mean that it isn't good good practice for no spin. So for a beginner set, or for like I have it set up here today in my garage with the door closed, I'm only throwing from. 12 feet. You could do this down a hallway in your house. You could do it out on a back patio. You could do it in a really small con uh, confined space. So if you want a small target, 24 inch target, you want something that you can throw indoors, then this is a good this is a good option. Heavier knives, you've got to be farther back, and when you miss, obviously you've got a bigger bigger issue. So we'll do one more. One more uh, full spin. So for a set of knives that you're going to start out with, to force you to be consistent because these light knives at short distances are going to point out any inconsistencies in your in your throwing. I like these knives. You can buy a whole set. You can practice keeping them sharp, grinding them down when you do break a tip off, which is going to happen with a stainless knife. And uh, doesn't hurt. You can practice your no spin. Um, I'll do just a couple and see if we can get them to stick. Okay, I threw six. By the sixth one, I finally got the technique correct. You gotta release it when it's vertical and then be able to feel your finger go down the back. 
to get it to stick. So I got one out of six to stick. But I haven't been practicing with these. But it's very good discipline to learn how to throw no spin. You can throw it with this light knife. You move up to a 12 inch thick heavy knife. It'll be nothing, nothing at all. So, of course, from short distance, they work just fine. So all in all, I give it a good thumbs up. It's a good set of knives.